But now here he is. Against Willie Casey, the Irishman, five years ago. He took Casey out in the opening round. Dickens has been saying it is his destiny to be the world champion. What can he do? It's a, it's a big question, John. It really is. What can he do? But it certainly rank alongside the likes of Lloyd Hunnigan against Don Curry against Randolph Turpin against Sugar Ray Robinson if he pulls this one off. Oh, it'd, be, it'd be such an amazement. It'd be the, the biggest win by any British fighter in recent years, that's for sure. I think the Turpin Robinson thing stands alone. 1951, that was. So often with Rigondo, it's a quiet opening as he just looks to see what his opponent has got. And he makes you miss by inches, centimetres sometimes. He wound up on that left hand. Good jab there from Dickens as well, that's good. A little bit of confidence maybe there for Jazza. Self-confessed bad, bad lad when he was a kid, Jazza turned his life around with his religion and with his boxing. Works as a volunteer in soup kitchens and night shelters back home in Liverpool. And a proud product of the Everton Red Triangle gym. Didn't miss by a lot there, did he? I think he just clipped him as well with that, actually, with that left hand, just as Jazza was just, just spinning around. And just before that, I was just about to say, well, Jazz is in he's landed with a punch so far, but then we're going to put pay to that. That's the thing with we're going to do, it's very hard and you can't make any mistakes. Behind the scenes, those who've been working say that all through the week Rigondo's been sweetness and light come fight night it's been a slightly different story <laughs> business time very very quiet opening round but this is the Rigondo way isn't it just likes to have a look at his opponent nice little jab from, from Jazza right, landing, landing on the gloves there was Jazza Dickens it's good to see he's willing to let his hands go though when he when he see if he sees the opportunity. Well, he can't he can't allow himself to be overawed, can't allow himself to be intimidated. Good shot there from Rigondo in the closing seconds of the round. Right hand gets through, and a little bit of an old-fashioned stare the between the two. In the corner, Paul and Michael Stevenson. Positive start. Nice to get a little taste of the gloves early, you know what I mean? It's good. It's our move. Okay, now these, uh, these good fighters, they react to feints. He's going for every feint that you make. What we can start to do now is you've had a good look at him, see now the gears mesh, and it's, we're in there now, you know what I mean? Start them feints going, you've done a little feint of bodies, and then come up with a, a four punch combination. Work plate, you don't have to be here, too good with it. Two or three of them around, you know what I mean? Three or four, just enough to stay ahead. Otherwise, stay crazy the way you were. But works great. Three or four, then big left hands over the top. Most of them step away from the chair, you know what I mean? Up come under them. I know we come through, but it's not. Okay, nice and relaxed. Face them up, face them up, take it away with them with the outstep. Quiet opening round. Did that right hand from Rigondo in the closing seconds, is that enough to take it for him? Yeah, I think so. I do, I do. It was a very cagey round, but he didn't get he didn't get top real box and Jazzy Dickens. That's a good thing, you know, he didn't. Well, overall with anything, but I think, yeah, just that little thing. It was a cagey opener by both. Battle of the Southpaws. So many of the great Cuban amateurs over the years have been Southpaws. That was uh, the way, the coaching method. They were encouraged to adopt the Southpaw stance simply because it is so awkward. He's practically cheating. A good left hand there from Rigondo. Sharp. There's no tell in his... That's, that's the thing about Rigondo as well. There's no... No telling his punches, he doesn't move the hand before he throws it. It goes direct from where it is. Oh, good left, oh, good left hand good from Jazza. Good left Jazza. hand from Dickin. He's poker-faced as well, isn't he, Rigondo? Yeah. Doesn't give away any sort of emotion. 
I'll tell you what though, Jazza Dickens, you know, he's, his tactics are not too bad actually. You know, he, he, he's trying to stay safe, and then he's when he's when he's going to throw his punches, he's committing fully. So I think someone like with Rigondeau, who makes you miss by inches, you ha you, you're afraid to overcommit, so you, you you end up throwing sloppy punches, and then he, he then he makes you pay with it. But Jazza's no, he's flying in with his shots when he decides to throw them. Rigondo just waiting, waiting, waiting for Dickens to commit himself. He might have a long wait. Dickens trying to stay tight, compact, and adopting a cagey approach himself. Look at those faces on the far side of the ring, every one of them not wanting to miss one second because that's all it takes with the blink of an eyelid. Rigondo hasn't really landed a big shot as yet he's had the one left hand in this round dickens responded so on that uh, on that basis fairly level and that yeah. was blocked It's hardly been a punch thrown for the last <laughs> minute and a half. Sorry if it sounds a little bit uh, a little bit quiet, but that's the way it is. Dickens not prepared to commit himself. Likewise, Rigondo. And this is where the criticism stems from Rigondo is that he, he he's not willing to to ever take the lead. He's always reacted, never proactive in his work. Dropped by. Top rank, the promoters, and by HBO, the American boxing channel, for precisely that reason. Well, how do you score that? That's got to well, be a level they, round, surely. Be, haven't it? You know, nothing. They both landed with the, with the left hand. That was it. It's a one-one draw. Well, let's take a look at them. Awesome. There's the left hand of Rigondo. Fantastic shot, isn't it? And here's the left hand. No, no, that's a different angle. From a different from angle, and in a moment we'll see the left hand of Dickens. Well, if, if that was it, it missed. <laughs> well, what's happened here? He's been sure. I think, I think, I think, I think Jazz is saying he's broke his jaw. He's gone. The fight's over. That one shot, I think. That one shot has ended the fight. It's all over. Well, what an anticlimax. One punch has seemingly ended the fight. The